PKA 640. May have boogie. We'll see. We were talking about the the stupid stuff he almost bought. I, I was talking about that one guy. I got into a I was talking about that channel Nile Red, Nile Blue, I don't remember. The the like chemistry channel who oh, yeah. like does experiments and things. And I watched videos like of him experimenting with different metals. And I just started watching tons of videos about tungsten, the coolest metal. And it's so dense. And so heavy compared to like other metals that like it's I started. So funny you bring this I up. started looking at it online, and I was like, "How much is a tungsten sphere? How much is a tungsten cube? And a three inch by three inch tungsten cube is like half a grand if you want a high quality tungsten tube. If Dude. you want an even a, a bigger tungsten cube, like you're, you're starting to get into wild stuff. But like one that's like this big is 50 plus pounds and it's supposed to be so weird to hold it because it's so dense i would love i want to uh, get more into tungsten have you seen the video there's like i can't remember whose podcast or show it is or stream or whatever <laughs> but like the boys all threw in and they got a tungsten cube dude and it's like i, I saw that in the middle of the uh in the middle of my fucking rabbit trail the, the barstool sports that they inspired a me tungsten cube i was like i bet Haley would like a tungsten cube and i was oh, like yeah. let me see how much they are and then i was like he's gonna have to get his own tungsten cube <laughs> <laughs> how much is a tungsten cube like, and, and how Obviously, heavy by size but like if you wanted like what would be cool is to have one that is it looks like you could easily pick it up but you're like oh no and that is like thousands of dollars like a couple yeah. grand how much big was the 55 pound one taylor i was googling like about that big but a square maybe even a bit smaller than that because like People will like try to pick it up from the top because it just you looks like a regular square. It. And if it was like aluminum or something or no iron, you could just kind of grab it and pinch it and pick it up. But yeah. it's so like <clears throat> heavy and dense that it's like it takes you takes you oh, aback. Have cool. you seen have you seen those videos? I sent you guys one. I don't know if you caught it in the in the WhatsApp, but it's uh it's like a hidden camera video in a gym, and the guy's posing as the janitor, and he waits till these guys are they're doing like bent rows, heavy, like two and a half, three plates or something like that. And uh, and they're taking turns. And he comes over. He's like, "I need clean, can clean." And he's wearing like a like overalls and a big beard. He sounds like Uzbeki or some shit. <laughs> and they're like, "Yeah, yeah, sure." He wants to sl like sweep up the um, the mat that they're on. And he reaches down with one hand and grabs their barbell and picks it up and carries it while he sweeps. And then he puts it down again. He goes, "Is for back, back." And they're like, "Yeah, it's it's great back exercise." And he does. One, he does start doing chainsaws with it. He rips, out, he rips out like two and three quarters of a chainsaw with I don't know, like 250, 300 pounds, and like and, and then puts it and then puts it down and like walks away all nonchalant sweeping. And the guy's like, he reaches down to lift it again, like he thinks it's and he's like, he can't move it with one hand. Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a couple of them where he does that to people. He'll come over and like grab their like their their deadlift weight with one hand and like hold it with one hand and sweep up. Does he I love that huge? brand of video, but not with overalls on, coveralls. Okay. Yeah, every so often, like I, I saw the guy at like Venice Beach. I think they were doing a lot of calisthenics, and uh, you know they they take this dude who's amazing and dress him up as an old man, and suddenly mm. he can. Muscle up is just the start of the shit. Yeah, we watched that did. on the show. Yeah, um, I remember that. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should just play that on me all episode long. This episode like, two thirty nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, Kyle, keep um, keep doing that all episode. I'll tell a story about something that happened to me today. You can tell me I've told you already, and I'm like, just, what the fuck? How can <laughs> that be? I gotta look at my messages, guys. I, I think I'm losing time. <laughs> uh, Taylor, somebody wants to box you. It's uh, it's six months from now. What's the dollar Who? amount? What's the dollar amount that it's going to take you to sign up to fight this uh, the, the, this other person? I'm, I'm, I don't really want to fight anybody. Honestly. No, that's why they that's why they yeah. pay. Yeah, yeah, I know. If you okay. wanted to, you would pay them. That's like going whitewater rafting, right? No one pays you to do that. That's true. Yeah, that's right. But I, I don't know. It depends who I was man. fighting. It depends who I was fighting. If they're you're gonna go, a really you're gonna, scary you're person. Fighting, uh, you're fighting a Polish streamer named um, Olaf the Terrible. He, uh, <laughs> he's, uh, he looks like a troll. Um, Is he's, it he's ironic? Five foot, no, he's five foot eight, oh. 300 pounds, and he's hairy like that. Remember that Soviet um, water polo player yes. who looked like a bear? Zach, will you show me a picture of the, the, the Soviet-era 
water polo player who looks like a bear. If you Google that yeah. exact sentence, you'll you'll get the image. He's I'm got a picture. For. Yeah, he's got like his next meal on his knee. That yeah, child. That child who looks yeah. very uncomfortable sitting next to him. You'll see in the picture. Um, no, well, you got to fight like a scary guy. Like you're, he's not a boxer or anything. But you're like, damn, this guy is equally as strong Jesus as I am. Christ. Yeah. The, apparently, the guy's like a legend <clears throat> at like water polo. You can imagine why. He's buoyant. That guy's one of the playable lords for the Ogre Kingdoms. Little did the competition know, Olaf was able to trap a layer of air in his body hair, <laughs> making him incredibly buoyant. <laughs> that kid, <laughs> seems that like kid knows. He could... That kid's gonna cry. Uh, it's, it's like you think, an enormous they're like, person. don't you fucking move, Timmy, I'd have told you twice. Do you know how <laughs> much pictures take it this time? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what? Swimmers look like they look like Jesus Christ, Michael Phelps, like that kind of body water shape. polo, though. Okay, I yeah, I, I just <laughs> well played, Zach. Well played. I like that. Now, have you seen that movie that he just showed the Harry second, and the second Hendersons? picture? I love that you know that. I Taylor, have not. Used... If I have, it was when Boys, I was a kid. Taylor, we talked that. about this earlier in the show. Oh, is that <laughs> so we, have never, we have never discussed Harry and the Hendersons? I I, I put my I guarantee it. It is a sad fucking movie. Okay, basically a family takes in a goddamn Sasquatch, and it turns out he's lovable and friendly. And at the end, the father has to like throw like like kick him out and send him back to the wild and pretend like he hates him. Like he, he's crying. He's like, "Get out of here! We don't love you anymore!" And he's throwing rocks at Harry, and the rock hits Harry, and he goes, "Oh." And he's like, and it's just like, he's just crying. I, I can't think of the, the actor's name. You'll, you'll know him. The, 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 it's a famous actor. Now. Um, yeah. but, but it's so goddamn sad. He's just crying into his hands as Harry like walks back into the wild to live the life Aww. of a Sasquatch. Because some asshole, I think maybe Dan Aykroyd, but that's just weird childhood memories. Someone was trying to expose the Sasquatch. I can't remember who it was. Like, and, and we had to like get him back to the wild lest he be shot. So that's Very the sad. movie pick of the week, listeners. Harry and, Harry the, and Hender the Hendersons. Yeah, it's a pretty good movie. movie. I enjoyed it, but I was the right age for it when it hit. So, I, I watched could... it as a child. You know and, what we uh, should do is cry. start a book club, <laughs> but none of us read the books, and it's about bullshitting and calling the other ones out on not reading. <laughs> oh, it. We can just mm, judge passive books by aggressive covers book club. club. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's like ah, uh, a tale of two cities. <laughs> I'd have preferred one terribly dreary, like that. Kind <laughs> we of could uh, we could all read a third of a book, and then we could have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> we try and fill people in. No, no, no. We we fill each other in. See, that's the thing. Like like, like Woody reads the the beginning. I get the middle, and Taylor gets the end. And so we show up, and Woody's like. So what the fuck happened? They, did they get there? And I'm like, dude, they got there and they wrecked shit. Taylor, <laughs> did she live or not? <laughs> and Woody's like, who? Taylor's going to be like, were they dating? I want to be the, in, in the end guy. And I still won't read it and just improv based off what you guys say is happening in the story. Yeah, man, it was crazy, huh? The way that, that particular character behaved. <laughs> man a lot of these books you're finishing taylor end up with the protagonist getting molested by the pope like, it's, like it's really disjointed what the hell's going on so to answer your question kyle fifty thousand dollars and i would fight mr scary polish fight mr scary the for terrible. 50k yeah maybe a little more than that but it depends how truly scary they are i don't want to fight anyone but 50k is a shit ton of money I don't want yeah. a bunch of people to like. I would go so hard in the paint with like <laughs> losing weight, and like I would be so concerned about that. I'd be like, God, if I get up there and I'm like feeling like I'm looking fat, oh. I'm gonna be so embarrassed. Oh, that and, should and, be your second thing. Like, like you've got six months. Like, I, here's fair. what I would make you do: <laughs> you got to get on performance enhancing drugs right away. The mm -hmm. number one thing okay. it's it's more the. It's more important than your boxing skill as as going into box like Olaf, who's also a non-boxer, is cardio. Because That's if we get to the third round and you're still fresh and you can move quickly at like 90% of what you started with, but he's like gassed, skill is not required anymore. He cannot lift his hands. You just have to beat another man up. So so th this you, for, forget trying to become some gold glove athlete. That's stupid. Learn to throw punches correctly and to guard, and maybe to move while throwing punches, that's it. Other than that, it's cardio 
and like getting strong so that you can actually hurt the other person or maybe learn to move a little bit, but it's cardio. It's cardio, cardio. That's all that would matter. That is and, tough. Then. And that's And so you're going to look so great. You'd look amazing. That would be great. Cause then even if I look, if I got the shit beat out of me, it's like, damn, at least I look at me, get knocked out. At least I'm getting a fat. I look the best I've ever looked in my life and I'm getting a free vacation to England and Hey, you know what? Let's make that return trip in two weeks. I'm going to have some fun in England. Like that's yeah. how you treat the whole thing. I'm going to have 50, Finster 000. show me around town. Finster's well, going to yeah. show me all the fun things to do. He likes knives and bows and arrows and things. He can te teach me to dress like a girl and Maybe make money Maybe he could online. introduce you to his friend, Belle Delphine. Sure. Yeah. Maybe we won't. Either <laughs> way. What's new with you guys? How you doing? 